Um, so 1948. In May of 1948, a new Jewish state, Israel, was born in a bath of blood. Nakba literally translates to catastrophe. Absolute catastrophe. The catastrophe. Catastrophe in Arabic. The catastrophe. We lost our homes, we lost a lot of lives were lost, and we had a huge amount of people who were displaced. So when my maternal grandfather had to leave, he was 19 years old. Uh, a lot of my family had to leave Palestine and find refuge elsewhere. He used to swim at the beaches of Yaffa and he no longer had the opportunity to do that. They didn't know what happened to their families in, in um, the valleys and uh, they had no way of reaching them. They even left with their keys thinking they'd come back. My grandparents still hold the key um, to their home. My grandfather's brother Saleh actually still has his key to this day, to their house. My father still carries the keys to his house around his neck. We had to start from absolutely nothing instead of growing up on the farm that my grandparents owned. What we saw in 48, 75 years ago, um, is only being repeated again and again. For the last 75 years, we haven't had the chance to, to feel like we are treated as equal human beings. They live under an apartheid state, and the Palestinians that live on the occupied territories, um, they live under constant surveillance. Bombed hospitals, you bombed schools, you neglected to allow medical supplies in, food is scarce, there's no electricity, no energy, no water. And these are, you know, basic human rights that every single human should have. It's almost like our lives are not valued the same. It's not just generational trauma or that of our parents. It's now ours. I want to be able to return to my country. I want to be able to return to visit my grandparents' land. Where I can swim in the same beach that my grandfather used to swim at and to give Palestinians the rights to live in their land peacefully and with full rights. All Palestinians living in exile yearn to return home. We're not asking everyone to leave, we're asking for the exact same rights as every other human being. I hope we can reach a stage where people um, take us seriously when we say this is what we want for Palestine and this is how we see our liberation.